everybody welcome back to redemption reapers where we are going into chapter four ah, chapter four Straight. lieutenant socius returns from a scouting mission with word that the mort have claimed an abandoned fort on mount laos Should the mountain fall to the mort, the nest would be surrounded by hostile forces and unable to resupply. Determined to solve the problem before mort reinforcements can arrive, Rowan and the Hawks make for Mount Laos. Stemming the tide. Oi. It's already quite a few enemies. Jeez. This dump is crawling with mort. Fine by me, though. I'm going to enjoy bathing in their blood. If we don't do something about this, the mort will gather here in even greater numbers. This place is just a stone's throw from the nest. We have to deal with them, and we have to do it now. How do you want to approach this? Efficiently, we'll take out the enemy commander. Ah, we ought to kill the lot of them. Come on, Sarah, back me up here. You should wipe them out. I'm with Luff on this one. We should take them all out. I knew there was a reason I liked you. Our target is the enemy commander. That's an order. There are too many more to handle in a head on assault. Which means we're at a disadvantage. Hmm. Business as usual. Yes. Which is why we're going to do this our way. We launch a surprise attack and eliminate the commander. With no leader to keep them in line, the rest will disperse. Then we won't have to worry about this fort anymore. And the nest will be safe. Exactly. Still prefer the outright slaughter plan. <laughs> I guess it could be worse. Remember, we're after their commander. Don't waste time on the weaklings. Oh, I will. Now, burn away your fear. Survive among the ashes. Don't need to tell me twice. It's time. Move out. Hit the enemy commander. Yeah, that's him. Butcher. Lovely. Mm. Well, you are heavily outnumbered in this game, aren't you? Well, it's got to work, as they say. Counter because he also has a spear. Ah, oh, that makes sense. You'll never. Now's our chance. The information. Why was he allowed to counter attack?
I'm offering a plan here, so hopefully that I won't check. Uh, maybe not, let's see. Steal yourself. I'll slaughter them all. <clears throat> let's see what it does. Yeah, I guess it's her. Oh, yeah. To go up here and then all the way around to the left. Down to I guess you guys can attack from up there, can't you? Maybe not. It would be great if they couldn't. so to speak. Out of my 
Nice, nice. Attack from down here. Nice. Out of my way. Eyes open if you want to live. Of course. Bring it on. I didn't expect you to kill, dude. Jeez. Yep. 
Drought. Right, it also heals. Don't touch the kind of forgot about that. Oh look, he's actually coming along to help me fight all the normal enemies. Isn't that neat? Soldier's notebook. Okay, let's see. How does it look up here? a bit bloodthirsty after all. Do that in a lot of uh, strategy RPGs. Yeah, and this one is kind of neat. Let's see what that actually does, shall we? Curious. I 
incoming. Ring of Forgotten Order. I think we go for that guy. Turn 20, huh? Yeah, that would be, uh, that would be great. For the end of mission bonus thingies. Give me all you've got. <clears throat> there we go. 
comes. Oh, the beauty of it. Great of an uh level up but hang. Definitely worth it to go for these detours just with the sheer amount of stuff you find along the way. I mean, what would have gotten 20 more experience? This isn't bad, but you know, killing way more enemies this way, more experience along. Well fought, Hawks. The mortar on the run. This fort won't give us any more trouble. But I was just getting started. You sure we can't kill a few more? We've done what we came here to do. Let the stragglers go. And what happens if the stragglers come back with reinforcements, hmm? We'll leave that to the captain's discretion. There aren't enough of us to needlessly risk our lives. Fine. Have it your way. Now then, we're done here. Let's head home. Reporting in, Captain. Glad to see you all made it back. And not a moment too soon. I've received word Luden's forces are on the move. Which means... Yes, it's time to put our plan into motion. With the great nation of Luden lending us their strength, we might finally be able to drive the Mort back. I'm impressed you managed to talk those peace-drunk milksops into marching off to war. It was no small feat, I can assure you. But the Mort have crushed the life from our nation. And they'll likely set their sights on Ludin next. We simply caution their rulers if they don't take the threat seriously. They will fall just as we have. For the sake of their people, they must stand with us now. Oh, and when General Duval voiced his opposition, I told him I had proof he was abusing his position for personal gain. <laughs> Ever the beacon of justice. So you resorted to blackmail to ensure his cooperation? I don't know or care how he interpreted my missive. <laughs> All that matters is that Ludin's forces are on the march. I was told they dispatched an emissary to the nest. But it seems their man got himself stuck in Tulforia. What's he doing there? The route from Ludin to the nest doesn't take you anywhere near that place. Your guess is as good as mine. But if he doesn't find his way here soon, our plans are dead in the water. So now we're playing babysitter to some lost kid? Give me a break. Urz and Karin are making their way there now. Sarah, Glenn, Luff, I know you just returned, but I need you to help them track down our wayward friend from Luden. Oh, right. The great nation of Ludin has begun its offensive against the Mort Hordes. Their armies are the last glimmer of hope for a people beset by terror and devastation. Looking to set his own plan in motion, Rowan sends the Ashen Hawks to Tulforia to find Lorthos, a Ludin emissary. Having received their orders, Sarah and the others set off. Well, before we do that, though, <laughs> let's have a look. See, too much experience. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I do. 
Nah, eh, more endurance would be nice, but uh, I'll take the strength and the HP, of course. And the skill points. Definitely taking the skill points. Uh, okay, next level she gets another one, which is good, 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 good. Yeah, you, you. Mm. Question is, does this go for, does this go both ways? Like, does the LA adjacent to him also take money from that? Seven points, yeah. Oh, it's less now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you're definitely getting this, my boy. So we get another point, very good. Okay, this is starting to come together with another accessory. Bring a forgotten order. Bonus dexterity. Oh, accuracy. Yes. You need that. Badly. So I've read up uh, a little bit how, you know, weapons and stuff works. So basically, the number you see, the 23 out of 50 and the 39 out of 40, it's basically the durability of the weapons. And when they break, you have like vastly reduced damage and accuracy. But it's also getting very expensive and costly to uh, keep all of your weapons maintained. So what the general consensus is, is that you should go ahead and upgrade the second weapons you find, like these here. But is it the second weapons or the second ones you find? Thing. Well, the second weapon you try to do is yeah, these. Mm. Because, you know, they are already a bit, a bit stronger than the normal ones. With a little bit of an accuracy penalty, but that's not too bad. So I think we'll just go ahead, uh, because we do have quite a few upgrade materials, right? Oh, I see. Alright. Not much for that. There's the accuracy penalty. Already taken care of. That. But that way we uh well yeah, spent our resources wisely. Would have been nice to offset the accuracy penalty there as well. What does that even do? Don't use strength of weapons. More effective on short swords. Ah. No, right, so we can use that for upgrades as well. Good. I still think... Ah, ah. I guess I will basically just go ahead and grind these to dust and then switch to the others so I don't have to repair them anyway. Quite a bit of money though. 
battle axe and a short bow. I guess that's for the other two characters that we don't have access to here. Alright, what it says the archive. Soldier's notebook. That's the best they've got. This war is as good as over. The soldiers were pathetic. Was the only ones to turn tail and run. None of them seem to have been trained. Hell, the wounded grouse would put up more of a fight. What can they hope to take from our country if that's the best army they can throw at us? A long time of sitting down with my future children, astonishing them with stories of my glorious battles. This looks a wind out of my sails. What am I supposed to tell them now? They were lucky to be born here, not there? I don't have anything else to say. I miss you, Mary. Instead of betting down on the hard, cold ground, it was a colossus you get from drawing bows and swinging spears. I want to feel a soft hand than mine and stay in bed until the sun is high in the sky. I want to talk about everything and nothing until it's a dark green candle to see. The day is coming soon, I'm certain of it. Thought we get much in the way of compensation once it's worse done. Whoever got the promotion I was hoping for and I haven't suffered so much as a nick in combat. Even so, I want to get you something nice. God, but I'm so hungry. I've been dreaming of your first fiddlehead. Little had pie of the year, now we'll be able to head home and enjoy some before the winter. Everyone knows people from their country are nothing more than animals, right? They aren't human, not like us. It's so quiet, but I can't sleep. Their screams are so loud in my head. Women, I know, I killed them. I killed so many. No, it doesn't matter how many died in my, by my hand. I was just following orders. I didn't do anything wrong. Were they any different? Just soldiers following orders? Pawns of humans and cast aside at the room of the nation. When it ruined forced to obey the ravings of a mad king? I'm scared, Mary. I'm scared my hands are so stained with blood that anything I give you would only sully you as well. I couldn't even hold you in my arms again. Perhaps a ray over nothing. Up there when I see you again, and smile and tell me I have nothing to fear. Yeah, well. Ring of Forgotten Otter. A serious engagement ring made by a master jeweler many years ago. Who has of the ring enhanced his already dexterous fingers to the degree that he never wanted for work again. Sadly, he was nowhere near as successful in love as he was in his trade, he spent the entirety of his days alone. His despair is said to linger within the ring, causing any who were to fall out of love with their betrothed. <laughs> Ow! Dead Ring Ore! Four labeled rings of jade, formerly used to improve daggers. Long ago, people believed wind spirits dwelled within the sword, and that weapons made with it would be light enough to dance in the wind as they cut down foes. In practice, both reduce the weapon's weight and vastly improve its keenness. Butcher. As if to boast of the many lives claimed by the axes, butchers sang human skulls from their belts and cover themselves in blood. Even the threat of death cannot deter them from slaughter. They continue to hack and slash away, even as their lifeblood drains from their bodies. Their menacing sneers and bloodred eyes strike fear into the hearts of all of the mis misfortune to behold them. Lovely. These are all so lovely. Warms your heart. Anyway, we reached the end of another episode of Redemption Reapers, so uh, let's see if we can find out Emissary and uh, maybe complete our party as well. That'd be great. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye.